Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a special one. Because we are going to be doing The Complete Guide of Prehistoric Life, which, this is one of my favorite books. I just, um, don't know why I never actually bought it. I just check it out at the library all the time. But then, I eventually realized it wasn't at this library, so I was like, you know what? I should see how much it costs on eBay, and it only cost $5, which is insane for this book. So I decided to eventually buy it. But, um, yeah, we have the complete guide to prehistoric life again. It's not. I'm not gonna be reading through this whole book. I'm just gonna be showing off each page and I may comment on there. But we have, you know, the contents. This picture is actually really nice showing all the walking the beast animals. Pretty cool. So we have the first part of the book. We can skip through most of this. If you want to read that, go ahead. Pause somewhere. Just fix my camera. But um, assuming this is focusing, which I hope. There we go. That's better. First, we have Anomalocaris, which very interesting. Also, I like the pages where it has like the slides from the show. But yeah, let's see a trial bite. This is gonna take a while because this has like hundreds of pages in here. I click this and Cameraceris, Mega Rap, Mega and Capelespis, Terry Gotus and Brontoscorpio, Dunkelostius, Stethacanthus. Hynerpaton, Hyneria, Meganera. Hope you guys can actually read this when you pause it if you want to. But, um, yeah. We have this guy, which they actually don't have a page on Megarachne, which kind of makes sense since it's outdated now, but there's some Arthropleura. This giant amphibian that I never really bothered to learn how to pronounce. We have Dimetrodon. This guy, and Adaphosaurus. Gorgonopsid, which I don't know why they didn't put Inostranservia for here, which is, which actually, wait, it says Gorgonops. They specifically say that this is Gorgonops when it is very obviously not Gorgonops. But, um, yeah. Which, you're gonna be able to tell very fast what dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures that I know by how many of these I actually pronounce and how many I pronounce relatively correctly. But we have Scutosaurus, I love Scutosaurus. We have Diectodon. Then we are on the next part, which should be mostly dinosaurs. Moving on. about that. First we have Prestosuchus. Well not Prestosuchus, Pry Prionosuchus I think. Lystrosaurus. Euparcaria. Nothosaurus and Syndespondylus. Tanistrophius and Platyosaurus. Placerius and Therik or Don Sorry, something like that. Coelophysis, um, Petri, Petri, okay, I cannot remember what that thing is called again, but Postosuchus, Ammonites, which is weird because they don't actually really have a picture of the Ammonites from the show, they just have a fossil Ammonite, and then a Nautilus here, and you can kind of see them up there, but it's really weird that they don't have it in here, Lysictus, Metriorhynchus, Rampharynchus, Ophthalmosaurus, Liaplorodon, very oversized Liaplorodon at that, but still Liaplorodon, um, Clyptoclitus and um, Hybotus, Eustriptospondylus and Orothelia, which that is actually in one of the other videos that should be uploaded around the same time as this one. We have Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus and Agnironathus, which looks literally nothing like the actual Agnironathus, but um, yeah. Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, which this is actually a really nice picture, Ornitholestes, Iguanodon, Tapijara, and Polycanthus, this bird thing, and Utah Raptor, Ornithochirus, which I think I've actually been doing pretty decent on the name so far, Coolasuchus, I love Coolasuchus, great. I don't know why we didn't get to just get a page for this guy instead of just throwing them here, but um, yeah, cool to see this. Lillian Sorna. Sarcosuchus, which I I love this photo, and it's still one of my favorite Sarcosuchus photos. And also, I, this made me think that this was a Sarcosuchus, but this is probably actually supposed to be a Dinosuchus, even though it didn't live at the end of the Cretaceous, but um, yeah. Giganotosaurus. Argentinosaurus. And I think it's coming up soon, but we have Pteranodon. Therizinosaurus, which I love this Therizinosaurus design, is really nice. Tarbosaurus and Mononychus, which 
I have merch based off this image. I call it Sneaky Boy because me and my friend thought this guy was really sneaky, so we named him Sneaky Boy, and that's what we call all Mononikes for some reason. But, um, yeah, I really like the design. I also go check out my merch shop, please. But anyways, next we have Velociraptor, which this picture is actually really cool. Next we have Protoceratops, Archelon, and Elasmosaurus, Tylosaurus, Hesperonus and Zephactinus, Tyrannosaurus. This design is absolutely hideous, but this picture is still kind of cool. Taurosaurus. Interesting, Triceratops never appeared. And Kylosaurus. I love the colors. Hate the actual design. Next, we have um, Anata Titan, aka Edmontosaurus and Nectus, and we also have a pair for all this for some reason. Dialphodon. And then we move on to the Walking with Beast segment, which is interesting. Interestingly enough, when it comes to the Walking with franchise, I saw basically the spinoffs, basically just saw um, Chased by Sea Monsters and Chased by Dinosaurs and also the Ballad of Big Al. And then the first of the actual big three of the documentary was Walking with Beast. Actually, no, the first actually was Walking with Monsters. Then I saw Walking with Beast and then I didn't see for quite a while until I actually watched Walking with Dinosaurs. Then after that, I think the last out of the whole series that I watched was Prehistoric Park. I only watched that like about a year or two ago, surprisingly. But um, yeah, back to the book. Here's Gastornis, Leptictidium, and um, Monkey. Now, um, now just synonymous with Eurohippus, Ambulocetus, Andrusarchus, Moratherium, and Embolotherium, Arsenotherium, Basilosaurus, which this is probably the best Basilosaurus design, like. This will never need to be redesigned. It's just great. Dorodon and um, Monkey again. Hyenodon and Intellidon. Well, here's Intellidon, actually. This is actually just a Hyenodon page. But we have the Intellidon page. Um, Indricotherium, which is now Paraceratherium. This dog thing in Calicotherium. Dinotherium. Weird Horse and Dinophilus, um, Megalodon, well, it has Carcardus Megalodon, when it's actually Odidus Megalodon, but we also have, just raise the book up, Nigel Marvin right here. Next we have Odobonocetops, which, I'm just gonna pause here, because this, this is, this, this creature is literally pretty much nowhere except for Chase by Sea Monsters and Jurassic Park Builder, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to pause here for we can just see Oda Benosa top for a while. Okay, on to the next page. Next, we have the Smilodon page. Forest Rockus page. Megatherium page, which I know there's a bit of glare, but I'm sorry about that. Macrokenia, one of my favorite prehistoric creatures, and Dordicurus page. Megaloceros and Pithera Leo. Um... Woolly Mammoth, Woolly Rhino, and, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Just boring charts for the rest of it. Sticky right here on the page, but, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Kalika to Prehistoric Life. This is one of my favorite books. It's a little bit in rough shape because I had this in a bag for a little while, and then also, it's, this is secondhand. But this book has a very specific smell, which is hard to explain. Like this book specifically, I've this is the third copy of this book that I've seen, and I've smelt it before, and it smells like kind of like an old book, but also like a new box of crayons. It's really hard to explain, but it's a specific smell that only the complete guide to prehistoric life has, and I don't know. It's, it's really just weird. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.